Hey, what's going on friends and family? Welcome back to another video of BK Overviews. And guys, I am so sorry I got this video too, too late. I just got back from vacation. I went to Vegas and man, I, <laughs> I totally forgot that I didn't do a review on this one. So please bear with me. Uh, I just been all over the place. It's been my birthday weekend. So I have totally apologized for that. But nevertheless, before we get started with any of this, I definitely want to encourage everyone to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, you enjoyed the content, and please subscribe to the channel. It's the best way of staying up to date with the most recent content. Now that we got all of that out of the way, guys, I definitely want to get you this review. So this pair, I was fortunate enough to hit on the sneakers app. Uh, and when I came back from vacation, it was uh, pretty much downstairs. Uh, in the storage uh, unit of uh, our studio here. So let's check it out. This pair I haven't seen in person. I only seen uh, videos of it. I've been seeing a few people's uh, videos, reviews on this. So, you know, I don't want my opinion to be biased or anything like that. I want to give you my honest opinion on it. Sorry about that. Voila. As you can see, we have a standard Jordan 1 box. We're all accustomed to see these nowadays. So let's check out the box label. Today, we're doing a review on a pair of Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And the actual color scheme is white, black, electro, orange. Style code is 555-088-180 and suggested retail was $170. As you can see, I did go true to size in my ones. You do have some stamping here. Look like you have multiple stamping here. 2021, okay. That's a first. Okay. Whoa. Hold up. right here <laughs> these are nice I know when I was taking them out of the box I was like whoa and what I felt on here is good quality first off if you're not familiar with this silhouette this is the latest Air Jordan 1 retro high and the color scheme of this is called electro orange and pretty much the name kind of self-explanatory I know some people was trying to call this the Shattered Backboards 4.0, but guys, this is not Shattered Backboard 4.0. The color blocking is could be considered that, but it isn't. Only ones that have uh, Shattered Backboard are the ones that have the Shattered Backboard insole. So starting off, it does come with two sets of lace, or three sets. And as you can see, they are rolled up. You have the black pair that's in it. And what I was feeling when I took it out of the box, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but here on the ankle area, this leather is very nice. It does have some texture to it. And up here, it feels very nice as well. You do have your wings logo in black. You have that electro orange here along the high ankle area. And as you can see along the eyelids, it is solid black, which wraps around the toe guard. You have a white midsole and you have a electro orange outsole. As we go to the toe, I want to see how good this leather quality is. Move that out of the way for you guys. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. It doesn't give you those spider spider webs that spaces out when you push on it, but it's not bad. 
Here is your tongue. You have that nylon tongue. And you do have that Nike Air brand in there with a little bit of hint of that orange. As we go to the side panel, it's pretty much the same makeup. As you can see here in this leather panel, you do have texture to it. Uh, as we go to the inside of the sneaker, this is where it's different. As you can see, it doesn't have any Jordan Jumpman logo. It says Nike Air in white and orange. Let's see if I get the size label. There you go. And as we go to the outsole of the sneaker, pretty standard. You have your electro orange outsole, your pop-up stars. You have your Nike brand in here instead of, you know, but this one on the inside, it says this type of Nike branding on it. Pretty cool. I do like this, this pair. I know uh, the resale market for this is not really too high. Uh, a lot of people is really just trying to get rid of this or get their money back. Um, me personally, this is a pair I probably would keep in my collection. I'm not 100% sure as of yet, but I do like it. I'm not going to knock this sneaker and say it's bad. Um, I guess it all depends on some of the pairs, but the quality on the pair that I got, some areas is very nice. Like I said, on this back heel area, the leather quality feels real good here. These side panels feel good as well as the high ankle area. Where it's lacking is pretty much around this mud guard. This leather pretty much feels like the standard Jordan 1 leather we get that's kind of stiff. Um, it doesn't have that pushback that we normally like to see on our toe box. You know, when you push down on it, you get like the little cracks, like the spider, spider webs. Um, but other than that, I have to say I am happy with this pair. Um, I know it's relatively sold out fast, so for it to be a sneaker that people don't like, you know, I don't know if they capping or not, but you know, people saying they don't like it, but it's selling out. I don't know. You tell me what you think. Was this a pair that you was actually going after? Were you able to get this pair? Or are you trying to hold off and trying to get it for retail? Leave your comments below and we can definitely discuss. Definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to another video of BK Overviews. Uh, like I said earlier, guys, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the content, please show your love and support by hitting that thumbs up or thumbs down button as well as subscribing to the channel. You can also follow me on these social media platforms. And once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to another video of BKO Reviews.